Boom, 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 boom. Hello guys, almost addicted here and today I'm going to show you how to build this beautiful little tiny shelter but little do you know underneath here is a huge huge surprise. Now people come in here you can do your crafting you can get all this but underneath we've got our brewing stand. Get ready for this guys. Seriously get ready. I'm going to be teaching you how to build this beautiful place. As you can see we've got a beautiful kitchen here with a nice farm. You can extend the farm as far as you like. You can still get into here and crop, get all your crops. We've got a beautiful table, huge bit of storage. And we have got our enchantment table. So this is, this is it's gonna be beautiful. And then we've got our anvils there and then the bedroom, my favorite. Look at this, we've got some bunk beds. We've got nice hidden light underneath there, underneath the bunk beds. We've got a nice place where we can put our armor stands and stuff. We've got a crafting table back here and we have got our end chest. Now this is fantastic, we've got some bookshelves as well. Look at the ceiling, you can even put a strip light across there or something. You can add so much more to this. I mean, especially the farm. You can expand back there, you can get some more redstone devices in here. The ceiling as well, just fantastic. I don't think anybody, of your, any one of your friends are gonna have something like this, a secret survival bunker, so. Hopefully you're impress your friends with this. Impress me by slapping that like button so hard it makes your mama future generation people shake in their boots, okay? <laughs> I don't know. Now, further ado, let's build this survival shelter. Underground bunker. Survival hut thing, yeah. Right, so let's start off and do this. We, we need a square that is 11 by 11 and then it's eight deep. So once you've done that, I've just lined it with the quartz. You don't have to line it with the quartz. You can line it with something more efficient. So we're gonna pick a side which we want the tunnel in now. So it's five by five and then 11 all the way to the back here. So if you dig that out and you've got this 11 by 11, eight deep square, we're gonna start on, right? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a nice storage room. As you see, I've got the clay going up here. So we've got enough room to get our chests in so it should be two and then we can have two stripes up here of the chests now i'd probably take it off the top here because obviously that'll be the ground level we'll be, it won't be able to get into those chests put it up the top here so we have two at each side and then two strips going in the middle and that's that nice little storeroom we can actually put something on top maybe quartz going on top here just across these little bits make it look quite nice so we've got a nice little storeroom there. Very, very nice. So we're gonna work on this tunnel bit. We're gonna put this up to the top. In our store, beautiful room. We're gonna put this across. Now, you can make it look kind of like a mine shaft sort of thing. Have it like that. You can have it going up to the thingy layer there. It's whatever you wanna do. And then I kind of wanna put a little bit of an archway on it. A bit of an archway on either side so you're kind of going through some tunnels that looks quite nice i'm actually gonna take these out because this is gonna run all the way across here now you don't have to do it like this but i just think it'll look nicer we're gonna take out those fronts the front bits i'm gonna light that up in a minute go like this and this in our new nice little bunker and then we've got enough space for maybe, we can actually do this as well. So you can have more storage there instead of doing that thing by putting that extra one there. You can get our chest going up to here and down to here. So we've got more storage there, put this across. So it's like symmetrical. You can actually put another one there. It's quite nice. So we've got that and that. And then we want kind of maybe an enchantment room so we can dig out five here. Across there. Do some more, just enough so it'll be just poking out. So I think it's about that level. Fill all this, get all this out. All right, so now we get our bookcases. Obviously gonna need our bookcases, obviously gonna need a beautiful enchantment table. So we've got three across the back, three here, 
three here and it should be just touching with the wall. And then we can actually put some glowstone or something behind there just to kind of light it up. Have a piece of glowstone behind there. If you want to make it kind of more futuristic, you don't want as much light, you can have that coming through there. And even have it going across the top. And then we've got our chamber room there. Let's see what else we've got like maybe a kitchen for our enchantment table. Obviously, if you want to put some redstone in here, you've got way loads of room to just dig it all out and uh, maybe put some villages in here with some brewing. You know, there's so much you can do. Let's put a kitchen. We'll do a kitchen here with maybe some places for our never warts. Maybe, maybe a garden supply underneath, you know. Let's dig it all out and uh, we'll see where we go. See where we go because I kind of want to put a kitchen at one side and then inside it we can ha have like an underground farm which I think would look quite cool. So the level I've done it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight inwards and then we can actually uh, make it a bit more enclosed in here put that across there and then just have like a little tunnel area here you know make it look quite nice so let's uh i'm gonna put some glowstone in here so you guys can see but we're gonna pull this back one two three two three one two three and we're gonna actually get some light underneath there let's dig all that out all the top as well See, at times like this, you wish you were on PC. It takes so long. I've got to literally dig out all these block by block. Um, let's put this across here. And then we can put this layer join in there. So you can't see as much. So we'll get the farm in. Kind of want to do this as well. Um, just put it around like this. So it just kind of got a like heat ray area. We can have this going across here. So you can kind of just get in and then we can fill that with grass. Fill this bottom with grass. I mean, you can do whatever you like if you want some pumpkins or something. If you want to extend this farm completely and utterly back there, then you're more than welcome. But obviously for tutorial purposes, it's gonna take a fair while anyway doing this, so. We're gonna do something like this. And then we're gonna get our hoe, because we all need some hoes in our life. Just get our hoe out. Hoe the shizzle out of this. And then obviously, you're gonna put some carrots in there and stuff, potatoes, but I'm just gonna put wheat for now. Just to, uh, just cause it was the closest thing really. Get that. I'm gonna get some bone meal. Get some bone meal. And now obviously if you want to do the, the lining in some, a different thing than quartz, you, you're more than welcome to do it. It's just more for like uh, the fastness of the tutorial and if you guys have come across me before you know I've got terrible internet. So yeah, it's really bad, it's really bad man, like really bad. So that is nice. You come into there, oh that's, that's super, super. So we're going to have a kitchen here. Let's bring it back about two, maybe. So we'll get this across the top. I kind of just want to um, get the glowstone, put it across the top, and then we can always put some trapdoors in. Put the trapdoors underneath and on top as well. So we've got a little kitchen area. We can obviously have our furnaces Furnaces crafting those. Yeah, we can have some furnaces going across here. And then we can have some chests at the back. Get some here, and then this will just be the one. So there's kind of like hidden chests where you can keep all your, your stuff. And um, underneath here, we can replace these and actually put our brewing stands. So we've got like a nice little kitchen area there. 
I mean, even if you want to make it look like more of a kitchen kind of style, I put some hand sight across here. Just get a black block or some uh, wool and just check the floor. And uh, yeah, makes it look a hell of a lot better. Look at this. This is missing one there. So we've got a nice little kitchen there. We can obviously add some more shelves or if you want to add just like, a, I don't know, little designs in there and stuff. You know, you're more than welcome to do that. Very nice, so we've got that so far. I kind of want to um, make this so it's like the other side. So it's less funny. We can even put it across here, so put it across there, you know. Uh, fill this in. Fill that in and put this across. All the way across there and this up here. Just a little bit nicer, I think, when you're coming in. We've got that, we've got a nice little kitchen. We can put the floor in a different thing. I think I'm gonna put it in the spruce, so I'm gonna speed it up for this bit. And filling it up to, in fact, I'll fill the whole floor in with the spruce. Um, but when it comes to this bit, I kind of want to uh, fill it in here. And uh, no, we might do the checkers here. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna fill it with the spruce now, speed it up. Right now, so this is completely optional. I've just gone bang smack in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five away from this on the six. Replace three by three square. And then I'm just gonna make a little table. Make a little table in the middle. Um, obviously where people would eat if they're in an underground bunker and put some pistons on. So obviously this is optional. It's a lot more resources, but yeah, I don't know. I'll get, get one on each side and then just put a sign on each thing. I don't know, make, might make it look quite nice. Who knows? I don't even know these days, I don't know. And then we can obviously put a little bit of carpet on top of the pistons, so it looks a bit better. Um, get a gray carpet maybe. You can change the, change the layout, you could have a, like a red one or something. I think the red looks quite nice. Now you've got a little table, you can actually uh, put cake in the middle there or something. So we'll work on the bedrooms. We've pretty much got all this. This is all nice. To the boudoir. I kind of want some bunk beds. So I'm going to take out this space here. Kind of like mini pods in a sense. So we've taken that out, we we'll take these out. Not to there. Um, take this out as well. Because we're gonna put our beds on this layer and this layer here. So we'll see how many beds we can kind of fit in, see what we can do. So we'll get the beds out. That's a bucket, not a bed. So we put one here and one here and maybe actually here. And we've got the two space, one space behind there. There and there. And then we need this layer here. And then we can put the beds on top of that. Oh here. No, we can't. We have to put it one higher, sorry. Stupid me. So obviously we'd break this out so we can still sleep in without any trouble. Without the bed being affected. And it means we can actually put some, uh, we can put some glowstone up there. So we're kind of getting our light. So if we dig up one more, we can kind of get the glowstone. So it's hidden as well, but we're still getting some nice light in there. Um, get this up. One extra after this. There we go. I don't know, this is completely freestyle. I'm just kind of going with the flow of it. That's how I like to do my builds. Got a nice bed there, nice bed there. So we've got a nice little bunk bed sort of thing. <sighs> now, okay, I kind of uh, can place these in. This can go to the top and cover that. That goes up here. Can even put bookshelves there and stuff, you know. But I'm kind of keeping it simple for now. 
put that up there. So we've kind of got a light for each bed. Put that up. That's looking nice. We've got a nice little bedroom segregated off. Now what else would we have in a survival bunker? We'd obviously, we've got our food storage, which is the storeroom. Maybe a weapons armory or something. Like just get some more chests through here. Keeping it simple, you know. And then we can just outline this layer here. Put it across here. Just keeping it super simple. And then we could have like, I don't know, an armor stand or something. I don't know, I'm just doing the tutorial, you know. <laughs> I don't have a clue. Just making this shizzle up. Um, yeah, so you don't have to do it like this, you know. Like this is kind of a... Uh, to give you inspiration on how to do your own and then you can kind of take from it what you like and uh, yeah you can expand on it so you can just have this where you keep all your armories and stuff we could have poker hole out there pocahontas get a wooden trapdoor and a glowstone get that up that across there why did that disappear it's not good man can kind of get that archway in as well. Get the archway there. For that bit. Which looks quite nice. Can even expand it there. Get this on the ceiling. Running it across. So stopping there. Winding round. Just a bit of depth into the, the ceiling. Make it look quite nice. Put that there. We can have some bookshelves up here. get our bookshelves out see if you don't have the resources for this you don't have to do it it's just kind of uh, adding my own little bit to it so we've got some bookshelves there that's quite nice um, we can even put them at that side as well and um, at the top here we can have um, we can even have some bushes and anvils obviously you're gonna have some anvils while you're in here we've got a cookers crafting table and um, ender chest yeah so we can get like an ender chest at the back, maybe right at the back of here. Maybe a little crafting spot there as well. I don't know, that's quite cool. And um, get some of these in, you know, anvils, get your anvils to appear, make it look a little bit better. And um, maybe you want your grand entrance here. You don't have to use this many anvils, but three there. That's looking kind of nice. I kind of like that. That's pretty much got everything we need so obviously if you want to expand you can just keep expanding back that's the the beauty of it and obviously we need to put a roof on we can even have our secret way of getting down into the base back here as well so if you wanted this and uh, let's see you could dig up from hmm i don't want to do that because it's kind of screwing up the feng shui but here this is perfect this going up from this yellow here which means we can expand the yellow a little bit more or not you don't have to just put it to there and then just work around it just literally just work around it and then fill the top of this in so i'm going to fill the top of this in now Right, so we filled the top in and now we need to bring a little bit of light in. So I'm gonna use some half slabs coming from here and we're just gonna fill the whole top in. We're gonna get some glowstone in there as well. Obviously round this, we would work around it. So I'm gonna speed this up and fill this whole top. Little by little, piece by piece, I take back. 
So as you can see, we've got a nice little checker design that I've done. I've basically put it up and then just like trimmed around it with another half slab going around it. Now you can do whatever design you like. You can kind of get invented with it. If there's bits you don't like, just add to it, you know, just keep adding. So it's nice and checkered. Uh, let's have a look. And obviously it's gonna still gonna be a bit dark. So you're gonna have to um, just place all these little things here. You don't have to put some in some areas. You can put some in others. We we'll just get some torches and light it around now. So get something here. This is probably light enough in here. And um, in here, we can maybe put some on here. Just get it lit up a little bit. That's nice and lit. I mean, if you're cautious and you want to be overly, yeah, just get a few torches in there. I think that is perfect. Now for the outside now, let's go up here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to start from here. We can maybe replace that because we've got the log going down. We're going to count one, two, three, four. And from here, we're going to count one, two, three, and then place a log. One, two, three gaps, place a log. One, two, three, place a log. One, two, three, place a log. Now at the back now, one, two, three, place another one. One, two, three, place another one. Now for this, it's going to be spruce we get a spruce on top of here we're gonna have some stone bricks across this area here we can do the same for this side as well and here obviously get our spruce we can run it across the top actually get it across the top this bit we don't need any windows in this it's like a bunker so we can get this on this side and then we're going to start to use the half slab. Let's use the half slab by one, two. We overlap. Oh dear. Get that across, that across as well. And then we do the same on the other side, just exactly the same. One, two. And then I think we're going to have to go up another little bit. So meet with this, so like here with our stairs, so we can get our stairs joining on here. Hopefully we should have enough room to put a door on. i put this going across here as well. Let's have a look, that's looking nice so far. And then we can have this going across the top. I mean, if you want, you can take that out, put it there, doesn't matter, doesn't matter so much. Now on the inside, no, we're not putting a door there. We'll put these one, two, Put this on the inside as well, one, two. We could get some spruce now going up to the top, up to the top here. And uh, we can actually, no, we don't need one on top because that's going to be part of it. And put this one here. At the back, we're just going to leave it plain. We can do something like put this across, maybe these. You can actually have a window in if you would like. Maybe a pole going at the back as well with spruce on. We'll put two windows there. Two of those. Just a simple, simple little uh, thing. That's looking nice. What we can do as well, we can expand it if we want. Sugar. Where we get these grid lines from this. We'll put this across. I don't know, might make it look a little bit nicer. Put this down here. We can get our oak logs coming from here. Just so it looks a look little bit nicer. Put that there and get our spruce fence maybe. We could even get some cold stone wall. Get a cold stone wall in here and here. Go to the back and get them in on here. We could just have like a log coming out there or something. We could have a little chimney coming out maybe. Um, you know, turn that into stone or something. Get a little chimney on top. Oh, it's got smoke coming out. And uh, yeah, so we're basically going to put a little door on. A little spruce door, I think we'll do. And then as soon as you come in, we can do whatever floor you want. I mean, you can have oak or whatever. Uh, 
let's put all this in so you can have some form of chest some seats maybe in here and then your main thing is down there so let's put some chests in you can have some cooking and crafting so we'll have some furnaces at the back here and at the back here and then hopefully i think the chest will still open up yeah we can still open the chest so we can put two either side there two either side there and then we can put a crafting table in the middle so it's kind of our basic you know storage and um we can put a little table there i think i'm just going to put something like a little oak thing with a brewing stand on little brewing stand there so that's a beautiful little thing and then yeah, the main attraction, boom, straight on there. I mean, you can have that going up to there. You can have it as a trap door where you go in. So you could just get the trap door and put it there. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it got requested. So yeah, really hope you enjoy. It's really simple and basic. I do know this little shack thing, but if you're obviously, you've got some trees around and it's gonna be like in a forest area. That's, uh, gonna look beautiful it's gonna be like hidden away anyway you know so like you have some around here this would be kind of like in a, a derelict location so people would they come across it be like oh a nice little cabin you could even put a password lock on I've just recently done a redstone on a password lock so you can put a password lock for the front door and maybe put an iron door on let's see what it looks like with an iron door I'll get out stuck in here and put some trees on so as you can see it's kind of taking shape I'll put some stuff behind let's get an iron door on here God damn you you know you can just put a, like an iron door on whatever you like well I'm gonna leave it with the spruce I'm gonna quickly do a bit of trees and put them down make sure you slap that like button while I do this and uh, yeah subscribe because I post every every single day and uh, bringing out new content and hopefully you guys enjoy and it's quite late at night so I have to be quiet really oh glitch come on we need a big tree so let's make a good thumbnail or something come on I need to need to sell this you need to help me bros you need to help me is that big he's oh, big he's big he's big bruh there we go so hope you enjoyed guys yeah if you want to add more detail you can just probably put some more stuff in there or something put some buttons on just depends how much you want to use you know so that is our secret bunker but little do people know boom when you get down here you've got this beautiful area where you're underground you've got your farm and everything so i really hope you guys enjoy catch you later peace Pace, pace, pace three times. Pace four. Oh, sugar lumps. Catch you later. Some stones, some stones. Put some stones everywhere. I've got a